Let's get to this Kendrick Lamar shit. Speaking of Kendrick this, Lamar, yeah. there was a leak that released today, or not today, but uh, this week about um, the uh, from Element, the original Element verse, and he was dissing a lot of people. French Montana, Big Sean. What did he What did he say about Big Sean? I'm trying to remember exactly what he said about Big uh, Sean. The one that I picked up on is that he said he's only famous because of who he's uh, who he's dating. That's what he today. said. Yeah, I thought I thought that was more about wasn't he still dating Ariana in 2016? Or was he dating? I mean, I don't think so. I think he was dating Ariana in maybe like 2015. But it's still relevant though, because it doesn't. It really doesn't matter who they are. He dates famous women, so he's still getting in his ass. It really yeah. doesn't. I mean, Ariana is more famous than Janae Aiko, but yeah, yeah. And he was like, man, that uh, that Meek Mill and Drake bit uh, beef got you amped up. If you talk shit, I'll fuck you up. He was like, get uh, your puberty up. Get your puberty up. <laughs> he said he was bars were trash. He said he was a weak rapper. He was talking like he went hard. Which is on all him. facts too. Which is all mm-hmm. facts. I agree with him. I agree with him on that. Yeah, compared to Kendrick, he's nothing. Like that's like you know going back to the basketball type a little bit. They sent Big Shine to go represent them. They didn't send Kendrick. <laughs> they didn't send J Cole. They sent Big Shine. What did you have to say to Kendrick? Uh, I mostly think my my thing I, problem I had with Kendrick is I just felt like. Why record something like this and not release it? So, and then, and then the actual element song was kind of related to it. He said, "If I gotta slap slap a pussy ass nigga, I'm gonna make it look sexy." So you still can wonder if like him saying that is like, is he thinking about Jay Electronica? Is he thinking about Big Sean? Is he thinking about French Montana when he's saying, "If I gotta slap a pussy ass nigga, I'm gonna make it look sexy. If I gotta go hard on a bitch, I'm gonna make it look sexy." <laughs> Remember, that's what came out. We heard, we just explained the original verse. I think it's weak. I think it's soft. Like, if you're going to talk about somebody, name them. Like, we see too much subliminal bullshit in rap these days. Drake is the biggest person. But think about Drake, though. He has gone. He's been in battles, though. You can't say he has not been in battles. But he constantly is just talking shit. Every Drake song got a, got a, a sneak diss in there. Almost yeah. every Drake song has at least one sneak diss in there. Some of them aren't even sneaks. He don't really be saying the name, so I guess that's what you mean by sneak. But some of them don't even be sneaky. That Meg the Stallion disc was not sneaky, bro. We all knew who he was talking about. That Jay Prince vert when he was uh, uh, trying to diss Kanye about the Jay Prince. I only did that shit for Jay Prince. That's not sneaky. We all know who you're talking about. Drake is really the only one nowadays that really be getting into rapper beef. He had the Meek Mill beef. Mm-hmm. It probably goes further than that, actually. I'm trying to think if he was beefing with anybody like around like 2013 time. But he had the Meek Mill. He had the Pusha T. Him and Kendrick, I think, have had a little low-key beef, too. At least that's what people say. I'm not he never said that. anything about Kendrick. He's not going to go after Kendrick. He's not going to go after Kendrick. So to your point about, like, why wouldn't Kendrick just come out and say it? Just put out the verse. It's because if you're the GOAT, you don't really need to be starting beefs with anybody. You leave that to the lower people. But why even it's record like it, when though? It's like LeBron. Huh? Why even record it, though? You get off your chest? Because I got to get my shit off. I got to yeah. get my shit off. And I don't have to use everything I, I come up with. I can get my shit off in the in the studio, and then, you know, if it gets leaked or whatever, that that's just that's just what happened. But it's almost like that LeBron situation last year in the playoffs. If uh, Dylan Brooks is gonna come out and try to say his shit, I'm I'm LeBron James. I'm not gonna try to. What the fuck is Dylan Brooks doing <laughs> in my mouth? Pause. <laughs> like you should you should know already. The stats speak for themselves. The history, the rings, yeah. like I leave that to the, yeah. to the to the irrelevant people. If the irrelevant people want to pick a beef with me, go ahead, because I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm the GOAT. We all know Kendrick is the GOAT right now. I mean, it's sad to say because I'm a Drake stan. Yeah, and I want to say that Drake is, is the, the best living, rapper alive. He is the living it's Kendrick. GOAT right it's now. Kendrick. He is the living it's Kendrick. GOAT. So if I'm the GOAT, I don't need to... I'm not I'm not worried about the peasants. What's the line? What's the phrase where they say like a... Uh, like What's that Jay-Z verse where he... Or, or he was like, what's a king to a god or some shit yeah, like that? Yeah, what's a god to a king? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a, like, what's a king to a god? What's they don't a god have to be to in my mouth. What's a god to a believer yeah, I'm just, you know, and then like, but like my problem is like, I kind of like rap beefs, not the ones that lead to people getting killed, but like just the spirit of rap and its origins. I feel like, like Tupac, not, no, of course Tupac, but Ice Cube for real will call you out by name. He will call you a bitch like straight up Tupac and say too. your name. Like, what you mean? Tupac too? Yeah, like on your um, bitch, you fat motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said on uh on King <laughs> on King of the Hill, there's a song called King of the Hill with uh what Ice Cube was on. He was talking about the dudes from Cypress Hill and he called the B Real dude. He said B Real stands for the B and B Real stands for bitch. 
straight up <laughs> on no Vaseline. He was, he was, I don't know if that was a movie version, but it, I think even on the original version, it was very clear who he was talking about. Like it wasn't, it was like, it wasn't, it was like, it was a little more subliminal, but it was still direct enough where it's like, all right, we know, like everybody knows what they were talking about. Right. Yeah, I don't think rapper beef is as uh, big as it used to be. I don't think people really care about that anymore. I think that it's more pussy. I think that it's more, same with like anything. I think that our generation, and they're not in the same generation as us, but like I think modern day, like niggas are just a little softer. You know, we're not really looking for conflict like that. Uh, even in the NBA, like people have that criticism about the NBA, like uh, higher levels of competition, you expect for there to be like a certain level of animosity. Nowadays, you're not really picking fights. You actually shaking hands with niggas. Money. You hugging niggas picking, and kissing yeah, niggas. Now. In sports, and I, yeah, you know what? You're right because like you're in the same profession. You guys, there should be good. You should be a good sport about whoever's leading in whatever profession or whatever sport. Yeah, but this is the that sport. Makes sense. If we rappers, but rap, this rapping is the sport. has a battle. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, there's a way to do it without it. There need to be hard feelings. I just feel like even with the Eminem beef with uh, MGK, like people really was hyped for that. Like there's, I feel like there's an excitement when there's like, well, there's no need to fight. We're gonna go bar for bar. I'm gonna end you. If it's over, it's over. There's nothing to say. We don't have and to take it really off the mic. They can't really rap like that anymore. They can't really rap like that. That's a good point. Like, Most of them can't go really bar rap for bar, like that. I, I got to get my writers and I got to get my team together. It takes me a whole season to get a, a, a song together. They don't have it like that no more. Tupac, you've seen the journals. Tupac would just be writing shit. Ice Cube, just writing shit. Jay-Z, don't even need to write shit. Just be stepping in the studio. Lil Wayne, just step in the studio and like set it off. Nobody got it like that no more. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell you know Your is going to be rapper able to can't turn up? Bar for bar. That's why the only people we've seen do it, recent time, is Meek Mill, Drake, Eminem. The MGK, even though he's like a, a rocker boy Fuck now. MGK. He, Who he else can we rap talking about? I, you can say what you want about him. He was fuck out of here. I thought he was getting after him. I, I'm just gonna be fuck honest with you. I like that song. You have to send me the verse. You have to send me the verse because I don't believe you. <laughs> you haven't listened to that song. That song was big when it came. out. No. That's like his biggest song. Like, maybe not anymore, but at that time, that was like his biggest. That his, him going after uh, Eminem because he said he was. No, like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not listening to no, no MGK. Him. I'm sorry. I'm not listening to no MGK verse. I'm sorry. Can't do it. Can't do it. Out of Can't but I got it. respect for him because in modern times, he's like one of the only people who really will. Especially going after Eminem, and he still has a career. Now he's not in rap anymore, but like, he's, yeah, yeah. Man, that says something, don't it? <laughs> but I feel like that, him, the, the MGK and the Post Malone <laughs> thing is a whole different topic to me. We we can go we can go into a whole other conversation about like the white guys who get into rap, they get famous off of rap, and they're like, all right, now I'm gonna make the music I've always wanted to make that I would have never got famous for. That's like you know Joe Rogan, Fear Factor. Now I'm gonna go into podcasting. I got my base. I'm out of here. I got my clout. I can do I can do whatever I want now. It's the same yeah. shit to me. I feel like it's yeah. the same shit.